Hey, what's going on YouTube and welcome to this brand new video. And in this video, I would like to talk about how I approach writing a song and how you could write your next song. Now, a quick disclaimer, there is no one set way to write a song and uh, everyone does it differently. As a matter of fact, I even do it differently. Most of the time, I don't stick to one approach, but uh, some of the core components of how I do it always remain. So if you, you know, if you're just thinking about writing or making a song from scratch, uh, or if you've been doing it already for a while, uh, you know, stick around and uh, maybe you can find something that inspires you or something that you could uh, incorporate into your process. So if you want to take some of the things I do, definitely go ahead and take them and uh, let's get to it. And the first step is inspiration. And what I mean by inspiration is you either have a melody, a word, a sentence, right? Or a concept of what you think the song should sound like, right? Or maybe you have uh, some kind of message that you want to deliver. Either way, I see it could start in many different places, but inspiration is definitely the first step. Typically for me, and once again, I will tell you many times today that uh, it happens in different ways all the time. But what I see myself doing more often is having some kind of melody without words uh, that I just come up with and uh, I go from there. I have a song that I released not too long ago and it's called Toxic. And in that case, it was just that word, Toxic. That word inspired me to create this entire song and um, you know, this entire world of this song. It could be anything and it can come from anywhere. So you, you just have to, over time you learn to pay more attention to those things and um, you know, write them down or you know, record a voice note when uh, it comes. I have a million voice notes on my phone, literally so many. Most of them get turned into demos. Most of them I make into my songs. And uh, some of them I make into songs for other people. And some of them just stay there until I, you know, get to them. But before I start a session, I typically just kind of scroll through and, uh, you know, see whatever title I like, play it and see if I, you know, want to work on that right now or if I have a fresh idea in my head. Now step two, and step two is production. A very rough idea, you know, a skeleton of your track, and um, of course it doesn't really apply to you if you don't produce your songs, which I encourage all artists to learn how to do. It is a very useful skill, but uh, this is the step where you go and create a very rough idea of your, you know, track. Uh, it could be just chord progressions, instruments, anything that you can start actually writing to. And at this step, I typically don't add any drums yet. Uh, I like to keep it very rough and stripped down, write to it, and then add stuff later as I go. Let me show you what I mean, and uh, we'll move on. Now, step three is top lining, or writing, actually writing. And top lining is a process where you kind of uh, create melodies and uh, create a structure to your song, but without any words. Of course, some words come out of that, uh, and it's very useful sometimes, most of the time, actually. But, you know, it is a very vulnerable kind of uh, thing to show to people because uh, it just sounds stupid, but this is a very valuable part of the process where you can actually create all the melodies and rhythms and everything that your song will be. Okay. Don't give me anxiety when you're not there. Yeah. Just keep me inside of me, they don't fight fair. No, it's not just a game. No, it's not just a game you play. I forgot everything. But I never lie. What I gotta do tonight. What I gotta taste you love. What I gotta show and you're not Just hope I believe you this time Okay, 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 we can work with that Once you're satisfied with your top line, you will 
write some lyrics to it. And um, this is a very tricky part of it because, you know, you still, you're still producing vowels and sounds and shapes when you do top lining. And uh, it could be very tricky to change those. Sometimes you just, you might not like it. And um, this is the part where you try everything. Try everything you want, try everything that comes to mind. But this is the part where you make your top line uh, make sense and actually add some words to it. Now let's dive right into it. Should I just leave it how it is? You give me anxiety when you're not there. When you're not there. Where? Here? I mean, you give me anxiety when you're not here. That's stupid. Give me anxiety, you give me hell. The demon inside my head that don't fight fair. No, it's not just a game. But if it was, it's a single player. Hmm. Do I want to go with the metaphor but, uh, of the game? No, it's not just a game. What's the story here? Like, you're not here for me. I feel like I'm alone kind of thing. Give me anxiety, you give me hell. It's never good with you, right? The demons on my head, they don't fight fair. I, I overthink a lot. No, it's not just a game. But if it was, but if it was just a single player, it'd be, yeah, I'm not sure about the grammar here. Can I make you stay? Let's just leave it there as a placeholder for now. I never lie. I said I never lie, but it doesn't really work here with the story. It doesn't advance the story. How can I make you stay? Question mark. God knows I've tried. We'll leave it there as a placeholder too, I guess, for now. Oh, that's my favorite part. Taste of your loving. I have to, I have to, I have to keep it there. Taste of your loving. What I gotta do. Should we take it there? I really like the taste of your loving in there. Um, um, the thought of you still in my mind. Since I got a taste of your loving. What I gotta do. To. What I gotta do. I don't want to make it corny either. Um. The thought, of, this is what we have so far. Uh, the thought of you still on my mind, since I got a taste of your loving. Wanna, wanna show you blood in the night. Your body and mind just one more time. Thirsty, very thirsty. Make sure after this step, you take a step back for a little bit, take a break, and then come back and listen to it again and see, uh, see how you feel about it. Let's go! The next step is uh, we're gonna finish the production. We're gonna add drums if it's needed. Now, this is a very slippery slope and uh, there is a risk of potentially entering a very dangerous territory of overproducing, which is never a good thing. Uh, I mean, it could be, I guess. No, actually, no, never mind. Overproducing is bad. Simplicity is a very powerful and very effective tool when it comes to producing music. Uh, so just uh, keep that in mind. Don't go crazy adding layers to your track. Just add things that serve a purpose and potentially move the story of the song. Let's see what that looks like on my project. I like the texture of these. Let's see what it sounds like. And the last step is uh, creating a decent but still rough mix of the song to you know put on your phone and go listen in your headphones in the car or you know play for someone or send it to someone. Now this is a really good plugin to use on your vocals. It's called uh, CLA Vocals by Waves. And the preset that I use is Face to Face Dry. This is a very decent plugin for your vocals. Makes it very quick. And to get a demo master, there is a plugin that you put on your master bus and um, you just hit this master button right here. You can do many different things, but you just hit the master one, change your output to like minus uh, 0.3 or 0.1, honestly, and just play around with the knobs and, you know, see what you like. But once again, this is not a mixing video, so we're not gonna go too in depth about it. These are just some quick tools that you can use 
to start recording now. The mix does not have to be perfect for that stage, of course, when you're getting ready to release it. Obviously, you know, mix it yourself and, you know, do a really good job or send it to someone to do it for you. Uh, mixing is important, of course. You, you want it to sound good, right? But if we have to compare uh, all the steps, you know, the actual songwriting part is way more important than that. But we're not gonna neglect anything and let's make sure the songwriting is solid, the, the melodies are good and catchy, and the mix is perfect. I thought you were still my mind Since I got a taste of your love What I gotta do to me now No, I'm not patient when it comes to And I guess I just wanna say that, um, it's good to have a demo regardless. If you love it, that's great. If you hate it, that's great too because having a bad demo is way better than having no demo. But yeah, whatever happens, just make sure you finish your track. It doesn't have to be, you know, finalized. It doesn't have to be the final mix and master. It could just be a rough demo, but make sure you have, the, the idea is there and make sure, you know, it, it's a finished, somewhat finished track. Always finish your tracks. Do not leave them in your computer. Just, you know, even if you don't like it in the process, try to finish it, somewhat finish it, right? And then move on maybe, but uh, you never know. You never know. I've had so many old demos that I came back to way later and I was like, wow, this is awesome. Why didn't I finish it? And then I finish it, I put it out and it does great. But most importantly, I love it. And uh, we change, right? We're people and we change and our tastes change and our standards change and our skill sets only go up, right? Uh, so don't feel bad if you make a demo and it sucks, you know, but it probably doesn't. But uh, if you don't like it, you know, just, 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 just leave it there, but make sure it's decent. It's in a decent shape so that you can listen to it later. Uh, but yeah, this is kind of uh, everything I wanted to show you about my process and um, the most important thing, if you start writing a song, finish it. That's the most important thing. Even if you don't like it, save it, move on. I'm V always here and I'm very excited to be sharing my process with you and maybe helping some of you along the way because no one helped me. <laughs> Maybe I'm just salty because of that. If you have questions or if you want to see something specific, definitely let me know in the comments down below and I will try to deliver. All right, I'm very excited to be starting this new chapter of my life and share more of my music with you. It is a big deal for me. So thank you for being here and um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I thought of you was still my mind Since I got a taste of your love What I gotta do to me now No, I'm not patient when it comes to